do is demonstrate the Tenetti um, balance assessment. It incorporates two parts. It's the balance, and then there's also the gate. The first part of the balance is looking at, uh, they're, they're seated in a chair that's armless. And let's have you have your feet flat. And what we're doing, okay, is seeing, is the patient listing to one side, or is he in midline? Is he steady and safe? The second thing we look at is his ability to rise from the chair. So, is he unable to? Does he use his arms? Or um, unable to without help, able but uses um, arms to help, or able without use of arms? So, go ahead and stand up for me. And he's able to earn it too because he's able to stand without the use of his arms. He was able to get up from the first attempt so there was no uh, rocking or momentum or staggering. And then right upon standing, we're assessing his immediate balance. And he had immediate balance within the first five seconds, was good, and he has, he's kind of a wider base of support, but he looks stable. The next one is a nudge test, and you nudge them on the sternum three times and see what their balance strategy is. So with the palm of your hand, okay, you do one, Two, three. You say you tell them you're going to nudge them on the chest three times. The next one is now you have to close the eyes, and you you just monitor them to see how steady they are. The next one I'm going to have you do. Are you safe like this for a moment? Yes. Okay. Is I'm going to have you turn around as he's moving. We're watching to see are his steps continuous? Is he steady or unsteady? So go ahead. Right. 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 The Tenetti balance and gate has been validated together, but then the sub parts of the balance and gate has also been used. So the next part is the gate. They can use um, an assistive device, you just need to make sure you document it. They can't require physical assistance. Okay, so go ahead and walk. Okay, so he was able to start right away. Okay, stop. Let's have you turn around. This time I'm going to look at his step length and his step height. Go ahead. And then stop and turn around. Now we're going to look at foot clearance. We'll look at the left and we'll look at the right. So go ahead. And then the next one is looking at step symmetry. So is he taking, is he in stance phase more on one side? So go ahead. Good. And the next one is looking at the deviation of his, in the frontal plane. So is he walking and drifting to one side, or is he able to, is his path? Um, I'd say go ahead and walk. And we're looking at too right now, is there any deviation of his trunk in the frontal plane? So, and then walking time, I'm going to have you go ahead and walk again, and I'm going to stay behind, and I'm going to just look at his heel width. 